What we did in the legislature, we passed a, a, a bill that would allow the city to go in and rehab those and a system for them to recuperate that money back, you know, through, that, through the owners, even if it's absent landowners. We did that for them. Now, one of the problems, of course, they, they got to get the money, you know, because they kind of short on money if you kept up with the city budget. they right at the end. But we gave them the tools to do that so they, they will be able to do that, fix those up. Now, in terms of transit, you're going to have a chance to, to, to vote in November on a, uh, a what's called a road bill. We passed that bill. It's a, it's a $1 billion bill for the state of Alabama that's going to work on bridges and roads and, 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 and provide about 30,000 jobs. What's going to happen is that in that, I was able to get put in there a, for 10 years, $2 million each year that's going to go to our mass transit system here. Same level around here. Same level. Yeah. Put a little lower. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You take care. Y'all go to your business. Take it lower too. Yes. But, but, but the, in terms of our mass transit, now they can do one or two things with it. They can either roll that into the operation, or they can use it to match the federal money, for like new buses and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so they can take each year. They could take that two million and turn it into almost ten. You know, so they can get a, a capital equipment and stuff, or they can use it for operating. Either one. So, so that's part. That's going to be a good feature about that. Is that enough? Is that do they need more? Sure, they do. But that's a start. You know, that's getting them dedicated funds other than the funds that they already have. So those are some things we're trying to work on. And you know, right now, and we've already passed that. And then, uh, I, man, I like that comment you just made about the start. Cause one of my, my one of my opinions is. <laughs> To compare Birmingham to, let's say, Atlanta, yeah. you know how they always try to make that comparison. Yeah. And my thing is, don't try to catch up with Atlanta. No. Because we ain't going to catch up. We won't. Let's just start it yep. somewhere and start a progress. Yeah. And start a progression. That's right. Yeah, I, I like that idea there for it. We got to start it. We got to start it. Yeah. We got to do that. Yes, we got to start Yeah. So we, we, we've we been working to do that. And, and also, we, we ex expanded things like unemployment, because people still struggling, instead of them being cut off. So we've got to expand that for about four or five or six more months, you know, to get, to get people a chance to get over that hump and yeah. being able to get employment. And, yeah. and of course, you know, working on things like Medicaid, make sure our senior citizens are situated, yeah. Meals on Wheels, and these kids, finally helping these kids get insurance programs like the CHIPS program, you know, where kids don't have to pay nothing. They can just register and go get insurance. So, yeah, yeah so we, we, we got a long way to go, but, but as we, the things I was telling you about, we made a decision that in Alabama, we were going to have to have a stimulus program, too. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where we're talking about those different things. We just won't wait on the president alone to send us something what we need to do. We were going to try to make something happen our own self.